Pennsylvania. Northeast's largest express dealer and one of the largest express dealers in the nation. I'm Andy. I'm the express guy here at FNS. If you contact us, more than likely you'd be speaking with me. If you're not familiar with us, check us out on our Google reviews and Facebook reviews and our website, fsyamaha.com. Uh, we have a great service reputation that we're very proud of. Uh, we have customers from all over the nation buy boats from us, including the one that's going to be in this video. Uh, this this uh, new Express is sold, but I wanted to do a uh, walkthrough video uh, for Josh. Josh, shout out to you. Appreciate it from Kentucky buying this boat. He's about 10 hours from us. Anyway, onto the boat. It's a 2025 uh, H20 Bass. This is the first H20 Bass that we set up. Um, it's a new model for 2025. I have other videos that explain in more detail uh, express boats in general and also this series of bass boat. So if you check our YouTube channel out, you'll see uh, many other videos that go in more detail. But I'm mostly going to focus on Josh's boat uh, and what he got. He's from distance from us and he hasn't seen it yet. Um, so I wanted to try to do a pretty good walkthrough video. Josh and I are going to be meeting uh, halfway. He's from uh, Western Kentucky, which is about 10 hours from us. And him and I are going to be meeting him uh, about five hours uh, uh, halfway at a lake so we can go over his boat in the water. We have a camo color, and this is the duck boat package. So with the duck boat package, you also get uh, camo seats, camo console, and then the extreme coat liner is on the console as well. Extreme coat, like all expresses, is sprayed over top of all the decks and underneath every lid and hatch. And then with the duck boat package, it's on the console too. Like all expresses, all aluminum, all welded together. Uh, nothing is riveted in, including the floor. Very solid riding boat with their hyperlift pad haul. Uh, <clears throat> so with the idea with the pad haul is that when the boat's going fast um, and the motor's trimmed out, there's a pad right here that's about 12 inches wide and about two feet long. The only thing that's in the water is the pad. Uh, it makes it go faster and it makes it ride better. And then along with the aggressive steps and the reverse chines, these hulls will turn on a dime and ride very well as well. All aluminum trail are made in-house by Express. Tandem axle upgrade, um, disc brakes, and then we upgrade all of our stock boats to brakes on both axles. Of course, aluminum wheels. Max horsepower on the H20 is a 175, which is on this boat. Ten inch hydraulic jack plate. Like every express express boat that we sell, uh, we go through them very thoroughly to try to make sure that it's as trouble free as possible uh, when Josh receives it. Um, <clears throat> we go through them very thoroughly here at the shop and then we do the initial break-in to every boat that we sell. Um, there's a series of heat cycles at idle uh, for basically about the first hour, hour and a half. Um, and then we also go water test on the water because there's certain things that we can only test on the water. Like propping for instance, jack plate, live oil fittings, and since this was the first H20 that we set up, uh, we wanted to do some prop testing this morning, which we did. Uh, we wound up changing the, the power tech that comes with it. Uh, and we went to a Yamaha Turbo FXP 22 inch. So all of the H20s that we're gonna be selling from here on out, I'm gonna put these Turbo 22 inch Yamaha props on. Uh, they have much better hole shot, uh, mid range and top speed as well. And they get, they really lift the bow up uh, versus what the the power tech does and they like jack plate as well so all of them from here on out we're going to get that we saw a uh, 58 mile an hour with with uh, josh's boat here this morning when we were running it but that was basically nothing in the boat with just two of us but of course hydraulic steering he also upgraded to two 10 foot mincota raptors And then when we installed uh, the Raptors, then we also need to install a main on off switch, which we did here. You can see the switch. Drew or rigger makes a brackets to hold that switch. 
So basically the whole boat, uh, except the trolley motor now, is on that switch. I'll show you more detail back here in a little bit with the, with the rear compartment. But. Sea deck floor covering is standard on the H20s. If you're not familiar with Sea deck, that's this floor covering. Basically, Sea deck has all the advantages of carpet with none of the disadvantages. Hook, hooks don't snag in it, dries quickly, easy to clean. And down the road, if you damage a panel, you can just buy that one panel. Other upgrades that Josh got on his boat, uh, you see the switch panel here, uh, lights kit, so all the compartments are lit, including the live well. Two live well switches, uh, the one is the recirc live well with pump out, that's another upgrade. Of course, your bilge pump, nav lights. He got a Helix 12 side imaging uh, at the console. And then with that, then we went to a Bass Boat Technologies mount to hold it. And what you're seeing here, this is the, one of the key fobs that come with the Raptors that our rigger put it here, Drew. Your gauges, water pressure gauge, fuel gauge. On the other side, tack, trim. I didn't say anything to uh, Josh, uh, and I didn't charge a Josh, but basically uh, we also put the dual blinker set up uh, for the trim and also the jack plate there at your steering wheel. You're really great to deal with, and I appreciate it, Josh. So I thought that'd be a nice little perp to throw in there. Up front, you went to the Minkota Ultrax 80 pound 24 volt. Helix 9 uh, DI up front uh, with the Bass Boat Technology stacker mount. Josh is going to be adding another uh, fish finder, so that's why he wanted us to put the stacker mount on it. Matching spare. Nice little touch of the nav light recessed up there in the front. Thirty six gallon fuel tank. Jumping in the boot. Big front deck on this new H20. To your rod storage, it's actually a nine foot span inside that rod storage. Spaghetti matting down the bottom there so it's softer for the rods. In the middle, two tubs you can see the lights on the side of either tub there more storage on the right side again two more tubs shock assist there that's a cooler that comes with with the boat take note of the spraying liner underneath every lid recessed foot pedal and that's completely welded into the structure of the boat new seats for 2025 captains and passengers and underneath the seats is there's more storage here Live well, of course, behind the seats. More storage for tackle trays on either side. Of course, this is all where all the good stuff is. So Josh did some more upgrades. I talked about the shallow water anchors. Be also upgraded to Dakota lithium batteries, EGM battery for the boat. You can see where the Raptor pumps there are. 
fuel tank, two bilges, a manual and an auto. Auto is hardwired, so it has nothing to do with the switch. Built in charger is there in the corner, you can just probably see it. And then Drew put the plug in here at the back transom so it's easy to get to. Drew does a great job. Take note to how all the wiring and everything looks. He just is very particular in how he does things. Does a lot of expresses and does a great job with it. Josh, I really appreciate your business, and uh, I'm going to be seeing you here, I guess in about a week is when we're going to be meeting up uh, there in West Virginia, I believe it is, at a lake. Um, but uh, again, I appreciate the business, and thanks for your patience of your boat uh, taking a little longer than what we had liked, but appreciate it. Um, for everyone else, thank you for watching this video. Check our many other videos out. If you don't mind, like and subscribe to our channel. It helps other people find us. And uh, if you have any questions on this boat, or any other boat, um, please let me know. We also sell Bennington and uh, pontoon boats and Smokercraft V-bottoms. You can kind of see uh, throughout the lot, boats kind of everywhere. All the white covers are express. Used boats as well, which you'll see everything on our website. I try to do YouTube uh, videos on used and new. I try to do as many as possible so I have time for whether you have in mind for special orders or a boat we have in stock, I'd be glad to answer questions. It can be overwhelming, all the different scenarios with Express, but I try to make it understandable. And I also make uh, info sheets so it's <clears throat> easier to understand all the possibilities. But I appreciate it. Check us out, like I said, on Google and Facebook. Have a good day.